Stoned Angry Gamer. Zombie Cheesecake. I'm here to rant and complain. Here's Zombie Cheesecake. What you staring at? Stoned Angry Gamer. Here's Swift Kick to the Nuts. It will be the biggest fail in history. I enjoy warfare. I would love to Swift Kick to the Nuts. Zombie Cheesecake. Subscribe. See my next vids. Three, two, one. Cake. What? Hey, it's Zombie Cheesecake here. Uh, you probably had Informer, and I'm here to smoke a blunt and inform the idiots and entertain the fans for about five minutes or so. I just, uh, <laughs> thought I'd introduce myself to the internet and the online world of <coughs> YouTube. Um, yes, of course, I'm recording all of this, uh, that you see here off of my Xbox One. I am not an X-Bot, though, which is what this video is gonna go over. I am actually a Nintendo fanboy. I love Nintendo. Nintendo Die Hard. I love, uh, Smash Brothers, Legend of Zelda. All, you know, all great games, just those two. Uh, but, um, yeah, what I, what I came to say is why I hate Sony, and I think that I have people back me up for this. And here we go. Uh, well, Sony rips off everything, man. They don't have an original thought. They never have. It all started uh, with trying to cheat Nintendo when it came to the uh, Nintendo PlayStation. But, um, well, specifically, the Sony rips off the Wii. You know, it has that PlayStation, uh, it, it, the PlayStation Move. We have also the PlayStation Plus uh, rips off Microsoft and their Xbox Live, except for it's nowhere near as good, except for you get those free games, because remember, you're going to get your credit card stolen every three months, so the free games matter. Um, the controller, it's shit. That fucking touchpad, it doesn't really add anything to the gameplay. It's not next-gen. The controller is not next-gen. I'm sorry, people. You can add as many features as you want, but if they're all old-ass features, they're not next-gen. Every computer, that's a, every laptop computer, that is, has had a fucking touchpad in it since the invention of touchpads and computers. Shit, man. The Sony's not doing anything new there. They put a speaker inside of the controller? What is that for? I'm in, I have Turtle Beaches or Tritons or fucking Astros or something. Something. Most gamers do, right? I'm personally using Turtle Beaches and I have a pair of Tritons. But, uh, I'm not... That's How am I going to hear that little speaker? What is that for? Single player games? I would still be using my headphones. I don't even play single player games that often. I, uh, you know... I, I don't even buy single player games, at, really at all. If they don't have a multiplayer, then I don't buy it, because I want some replay value. Now, I'll play the single player and the multiplayer of the game, but still, if there's no replay value, what's the point? Okay, so I wouldn't be able to hear that. The battery in the controller lasts nine hours, which could last longer, because the PS3 had a longer controller, and you could just switch the batteries, but it doesn't matter, and they knew it didn't, because their console lasts eight hours and overheats. You don't think that they knew this when they invented it? You think these people didn't do stress tests on their consoles? Why do you think the console only has a nine-hour battery for the controller? It's a joke. It's a joke. The battery life has always been a joke. And once I plug in the headset, how short is the battery going to get thin? I'm going to guess that's why you need to dub up the fucking life of the battery. I don't quite understand it. Um, let's see that blinking light. It just blinks off of your TV, which is annoying. Causes seizures, I would guess. I would think. I don't fucking know. I haven't seen any information about it yet. But still, uh, it drains the battery. It doesn't do anything for you. You have to look down at it to notice what it's doing. Uh, the console looks like an eraser. It's too small, it's very loud, and it overheats. When the Xbox thought, hey, let's, let's, let's do something with the uh, TV, the Sony's like, oh man, maybe we can we can bring a fucking heater, and you won't you won't need to use a heater anymore in your house. You save on the power bill if we can heat up your house for you while you play your games, man. That makes sense. I would understand from that standpoint, but I didn't say anything about it, so I'm a little lost there. Uh, it's loud as fuck. It's just fucking loud. I've never heard my Xbox make a noise in the history of owning. I've got two. I've got two Xbox ones. I'm not. I've got the Wii U, and I've got lots of 3DSs. I'm not a fucking Xbox, people. I just, don't like shoddy work and shitty consoles. Uh, that that they lie to get their way through. The PS2 was supposed to have Pixar uh, style uh, graphics. Never seen that. PlayStation 3 was supposed to have the 1080p and the 60 frames per second that the uh, PlayStation 4 can't even achieve yet, and have still been trying to achieve. Haven't seen it once with some mythical, mystic 
fucking fourth dimension, yes, 4D graphics. This all came from Sony themselves, and they've never lived up to any of their hype. They've bullshitted and, and fucking lied the whole way through, and yet Microsoft are a bunch of liars? I don't think so. I'm just not going to be lied to and then stolen from and then sit there like an idiot. And I guess that's really where I'm coming from.